So yeah, just about an hour ago, the Warriors defeated the Houston Rockets in Game 7 of the Western Conference Finals to go on to the NBA Finals, so that's sparking today's Houston Rockets rebuild. So basically, this rebuild is like what we did with the Celtics yesterday, since they did lost, or they did lose, we are doing the Rockets today, and it was a good series, it was actually a great series, it kind of sucks Chris Paul got hurt, because it would have obviously been a more, they could have won in Game 6, or definitely in Game 7. I mean, everybody loves to hate on the Warriors. I'm not the type of guy to just jump on the bandwagon and hate them for no reason. Like, yeah, it's annoying that KD went there. Yeah, it's annoying that it's a Cavs-Warriors finals. For the fourth in a row, it sucks. I'm probably not too exciting, but you know what? You, I can't really hate on the Warriors that much. I mean, like, they already got KD. It is what it is. Me hating on them isn't going to turn anything back. They're still going to win. They're still going to dominate the NBA. So me putting my energy and my, like, hatred wasting it on the Warriors isn't really worth it. And I still like KD as a player. I still like Curry. I still like Clay. I still like Draymond. Yes, I would love to see the Rock. I wanted the Rockets to win just to see somebody new. It's not because I hated the Warriors. I just wanted to see somebody new. But if you're a Warriors fan, hey, you have a pretty nice dynasty going. It sucks. I'm just imagine what it would be if, like, like I'm just imagining the success if, it, if, like, the Knicks were in the Warriors position. Oh, my God. That'd be amazing. But, yeah, we have Cavs, Warriors for the... For the fourth year in a row, but we're not going to talk about that. We're going to be talking about the Houston Rockets today. Now, obviously, losing Chris Paul sucked. You definitely had a great shot at beating them with Chris Paul. And it's really hard to do without if, like, James Harden. And then you have Eric Gordon, who really didn't play well uh, in the second half of Game 7 today. Neither did Trevor Reza, who I think went 0 for, like, 10. He basically pulled a Terry Rozier from the other night. And you can't rely on too many people when you're... When, like, your star player, like, yeah, you have your star player. It's not LeBron James. And you're going up against the Warriors. They put up a hell of a fight. Definitely a lot better than I thought. I thought the Warriors were going to win in six. And they were up three to two at one point. So, yeah, Houston Rockets rebuild. Obviously, we have the best backcourt in the NBA in Harden and Chris Paul. Chris Paul is a free agent. But I will be trying to probably trade some of these bad contracts. I mean, P.J. Tucker, like in 2K, maybe. Eric Gordon, I don't know. We'll see. Definitely Ryan Anderson and Clint Capella is obviously a free agent. So, I would like to get a draft pick here. I'll bring back D'Antoni. I know a lot of people are going to hate him on him for this game. I still think he's a top 10 coach in the league. And I really don't think it was his fault that they lost. It's just his team couldn't hit shots. I know they didn't really adjust the best, but I'm not going to blame the loss on him. I'm going to blame it on the, the the Rockets, who went, what, like 7 for 44 from 3? Something crazy bad. They went 0 for 27 or something in the second half. It was bad. Or maybe they went 1 for, like, 26. Something like that. It wasn't good. So, how much or how many stars does Ryan Anderson have? Two. And we don't have our first round pick. I have no idea. They probably gave it to the Clippers in the Chris Paul trade. But it's got two stars. Could we somehow get the 10th pick? And I will give you two sec three seconds of Ryan Anderson for the 10th pick. Okay, do we have any other players we can throw in? Could throw in Nene. There we go. So we have the 10th pick. So we're going to be adding a, a nice player. Dope. I'll see you guys over here signings. All right, guys. So I actually did trade the 10th pick. And I did trade it for Tobias Harris. So Tobias Harris is going to play small forward or power forward. We'll see what we want to do with him. So we're going to signings. Obviously, I all, uh, we, we're going to have nobody. I did have to take on Bulbon's contract. So what could I get for Boban and PJ Tucker? Could I get like a dope? I had to also give up my 2020 first, which is never going to be anything. I mean, Jay Crowder. Uh, Wani Walker would be nice, but let's get Jay Crowder and Tony Bradley. Oh, wait. No, trading has to be broken. Okay, so let's do Tucker, Marjanovic, and, okay, and Jay Crowder for Bradley. There we go. So we got Brad, uh, Crowder on the team, who I don't mind starting. Good defender. Team player options, we have nobody. That's kind of shocking. So, Chris Paul and Capella are both free agents. Capella will be a restricted, but obviously Chris Paul is unrestricted. So, let's give him a boatload of money. Uh, I wish it was old 2K, like 2K17, where I could get him and then maybe like KD or Paul George. Imagine Paul George to this team. Let's just screw it. Let's just offer him. Capella doesn't have a deal yet. Like, is there any way I could sign them both? Like, say I renounce the rights on these guys. Uh, there's no possible way. Unless... No, because I can't get him because I would have to renounce the rights. Um, yeah, on Chris Paul, which obviously I'm not going to do. So let's get Chris Paul. Uh, we won't renounce the rights on any of these guys yet. Uh, these four will. And Joe Johnson. But yeah, we're going to get Chris Paul. Unfortunately, we're not going to have enough cap to get Paul George. Maybe if I didn't take on Tobias Harris, I could have done it. But uh, let's just give Capella 20 mil. Honestly, there we go. And then if Ariza or Gerald Green wants to come back. Gerald Green, I would give you like 3 mil. Uh, Ariza, what are you, ooh, did you get signed, okay, I think he got signed, and, oh no, he's a power, uh, no, okay, I was looking at shooting guards, might be, so, 
we get everybody back dope and do we have nine good players we have one two three four five six seven eight okay uh, i would like to get a ninth what could i get for unaku i probably butcher his name bradley um what could i get could we get a player that i don't mind playing kyle singler Okay, we're not getting anything. So let me just sign somebody. Do we have a mid-level exception that's worth a 5.37 mil? So we can get Zaza, Dabo. I would like a backup center, honestly. So let's get Javel. Let's bring Javel to Houston. Why not? So we pick up Javel, and I'll see you guys at training camp. All right, guys. So I don't even know what I want to do. So let's send perimeter defense. Let's send James Harden to perimeter D. Now, who is starting at power forward? So it's going to be Tobias. So let's send uh, big man defense, because he's going to be guarding some bigger forwards. So let's send him there. And then... Imagine we send perimeter shooting to Capella. Let's send... Hmm. Let's just keep uh, Chris Paul still, like, agile so he doesn't regress. So, we're going to have a Chris Paul, James Harden, Jay Crowder, Tobias Harris, Clint Capella starting five. Yep. And then we have Gordon, McGee, Gerald Green, Ariza off the bench. Ariza's down to a 74. Okay, this might be his last year with us. Same with Gerald Green. Uh, McGee, you're going to get 20. 27 to Gordon. Let's do 33 to these two. Uh, let's do 30 to Crowder. 35, 35... And then we'll do 31, and we'll do one more to McGee. So that's going to be for now. We just got to beat the Warriors. Maybe the Warriors will get knocked out by, like, the Pelicans or the Jazz or something like that, and we would never have to face them. But hopefully we can get back to a one seed this year, and we'll see. Okay, so we did win 56-plus games, but it's not even going to be a top three seed in the West. That's pretty insane of how great the West was this year. Oh, my God. Yeah, so we were going to be doing a Warriors rebuild. I don't think... We will be doing one where I say, oh, they lost last night and they're knocked into the playoffs. Because if you want to know my prediction, I want to say Cavs in five, but I'm honestly just going to say Warriors in four. Like, I don't see a possible way LeBron's team beats the Warriors here. I just don't. Like, last year, they only won one game with Kyrie Irving. And now they don't have Kyrie and they might not even have love for the start. Or he might miss game one at least. Uh, depends on how quickly they bring him back. But James Harden, on be first team. Did Chris Paul make it? No. Any of the Rockets? Uh, Chris Paul, defensive second team, he was still a baller this year. But, yeah, I don't really see, like, as much as I want to see, I don't even know if I would want to even see LeBron win it all. I'm kind of rooting for the Warriors, honestly. <laughs> Believe it or not, I kind of am. I, I just I just can't take LeBron fans just if he wins it. But if whoever wins, whoever wins, I'll be happy for LeBron if he wins it. For the Warriors, I'll be whatever they win it. Uh, it's not surprising. So, Tobias, 17.4 a game. That's pretty solid. Capel with a double-double. It's, like, so hot in my office room right now. I don't know why. But uh, second in points per game, not bad. Only behind the Warriors. And defense, we were still pretty good. We were top 10 in defense. I think we were number 10. And point differential, we were 11.4. So, we are taking on the Minnesota Timberwolves in game one. Or round one, excuse me. We're up 2-0. 2-1. 3-1 us. Okay, well, look at this. We're taking on the Warriors in the second round. Could we beat them? Oh, my God. It's such an easy series down here. Game one. We win by five. Okay. Chris Paul drops 31-14. Harden 26-13. and 13. Gordon 21 off the bench. Game two. We're up 2-0. We won both games in Golden State. What? Oh, my God. We're up 3-0. What? Okay. Are we going to sweep them? All right. I guess it was a lot easier. But also, you got to rem remind yourself this. Remember yesterday how I was saying how 2K hates Boston in the simulation? 2K loves. They absolutely love Houston in the simulation. So we're taking on New Orleans here. Uh, I don't think we'll lose the series. But they are the home. They have home court. They were the three seed. We were the four seed. Okay. How do we lose more games against the Pelicans than we do against the Warriors? Do not lose this. Okay, good. We won by two points. Harding jumps 26. Double-double for Harris. Double-double for Chris Paul. Game, what is this? Three? All right. Come on. Come on. Come on. There we go. Okay. Blowout, blowout in Houston. Now, we have another game in Houston. If we could win this one, we'll be up three to one. But I would not be surprised if they beat us. But we do win. We win by ten points. Let's freaking go. And we're heading to a game seven. and no, A game seven. A game five. And we're going to lose this one? Yeah, we're going to lose. Game six now. Okay, can we not let them force a game seven and then go back to New Orleans? Please just win this in Houston. Good first quarter, good second quarter, good third quarter. Bang, let's go. Win by 30. Harden, 36. Capella, 24. Paul, 19, 15. 10 and 12 for McGee. Let's freaking go. We are here in the NBA Finals. Taking on Toronto. Look at this. DeRozan, hey, they signed Chris Bosh. That's cool. The only team I'm cool with signing Chris Bosh is the Raptors. Uh, they also have Isaiah Thomas. Did they trade him for... 
they did trade him. So the Lakers re-signed him, and I'm guessing Kyle Lowry is on the Lakers. Is that right? Ugh, Alonzo, that's not really the smartest thing. No, he's not. Where the hell... Who did they trade Lowry for, and how did they get Isaiah Thomas? They traded Serge Ibaka for Isaiah Thomas. Okay, then what did they get for... Did they trade, like, Kyle Lowry for... Um, what's his name? Chris Bosh? Where's Kyle Lowry? Kyle Lowry. Kyle Lowry. Kyle Lowry. Kyle Lowry. Kyle Lowry. Kyle. Hmm. I wish there was an easier way to do this. Maybe he was traded a while ago, or I'm just blind and I can't see. I probably did skip it. I'm sorry. Uh, but the 76ers traded the name Ryan Anderson for Urson. Always over Joe Kim Noah. Okay. I, I, I really can't find where um, Kyle Lowry was traded. I really can't. Hmm, beats me. All right. Uh, so unless he is there and I'm just stupid, which I bet you, you guys would probably just tell me I'm so stupid. I am. I'm just. Not, I'm just gonna forget that. I take my usual L. It, it's late, man. It, it's two in the morning now, and I've been up for almost twenty four hours. Ah, uh, but it's okay. Okay, I'm stupid. I'm sorry. So we are up. What is this? Three zero. Oh, we just won it all. Okay, I thought we were up 3 0 and I was going to play. Well, we won it all. Dope. All right, we got Houston the title. We're going to try to go back to back. And I just probably have to upgrade the bench because if it ain't broke, don't fix it. All right, so Jeff Lottery, do we have our first round pick? We might. It is pick 30. We could try to trade up in the draft, but there isn't really like amazing guys till you get to the top 10. So we'll see. We'll see because obviously I don't know if Ariza and Green, I might just upgrade those spots because um, Ariza averaged three points a game and Joe Green averaged six. So it's not like. I think that's easily replaceable. So what players do we have under Ross or under contract that I'm cool with trading? Uh, zero. Okay, cool. So I will give you three future first because this is the last year. Will a team give me a top 10 pick? Hmm. We could try nine, but I feel like they would do that. Let's try to go like six. Who has, I doubt four would work. If it does, 2K is freaking stupid. Yeah, I'm not giving you Clint Capella. I'm sorry. Uh, okay, so what was that? The Suns. Okay, five to Miami. Nope. Okay, so five's not going to work. Who has six? It is the LA Lakers. Nope. Okay, who has seven? It is the Hornets. I'm not throwing an Eric Gordon for Jeremy Lamb. Okay, who has eight? It is the Hawks. There we go. So we have the eighth pick of the draft. Hopefully somebody falls. I'll see you guys at Rookie Sonic. Okay, guys. So at pick eight, I did take O'Shea Brissett. I was going to take Sekou Dumia. But he's overseas for a year, which kind of sucks because it, it's just not cool in these rebuilds because I, I don't really have the patience for that. So we get Tony Bradley and uh, Zao back. So uh, we'll offer this guy because we could package these guys in a trade because I do want to play Brissett. He'll be the 10th man in the rotation. So I just want to get a good point guard or power point guard to really play that ninth spot. Do we have a big mid level exception? We have a 5.56 mil. We could get George Hill. Shabazz Napier, though, I would actually rock with. So let's get Shabazz. Do we have any free agents? Oh, Tobias Harris is probably one, right? Yep. And who's trying to get Tobias? The Pacers. Tobias and the Pacers would be kind of cool if they played at small forward because they already have Sabonis and Harris. So we get them both. All right. So, yeah, I don't really, really need to work about any trades. So we have pretty much our team next year. We lost Green, or we didn't decide to bring back Green or Ariza. We brought in Brissett, and we brought in Shabazz Napier. So... It's going to be Chris Paul, point guard, backup Shabazz, shooting guard, Harden, backup Gordon, small forward, Crowder, backup Brissett, power forward, Harris, center, Capella. And yeah, so wait, that's nine, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, I need a backup power forward or center. Okay, could I trade Bradley and a second and Zhao? Uh, Kata beats the up. I rock, I, I like, but no, we're not doing this. Okay. Uh, I'll take like a 78 overall, like cheap center. Bam out of bio, I doubt I could pick up, honestly. If I did this, 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 this. Damn, yeah, we're not getting him. Okay, McGee. No, Jared Allen would be cool. Um, who Bradley, Zhao, second, first, second, will they do this? Oh, okay, dope. We pick up Jared Allen, so I'll see you guys at the start of next year's season. All right, so I'm advancing to the next season. I kind of just did some random training camps, so... We have a, obviously the same lineup last year. It worked perfectly fine. I'm going to work on the minutes. So Gordon's going to be the sixth man. 27-20. Uh, Napier, you're going to get 16. Uh, Brissett, you're going to get 10 minutes a night. Yep. Okay. 
Okay, so Ariza was like a 72 last year or a 74, so it's not like it's not bad at a 73. 32 here, 32 here, 30 here, 35 there, 35. Let's go 33 and 31. So that's going to be for me now. I'll see you guys at the end of the season. Hopefully, we can go back to back to get some gameplay in, and I'll see you guys at the end of season number two. Uh, the full simulated seasons and it's gonna be the last one. Hopefully we can go back to back like Drake Alright guys, so we're finishing up this season this year We will get the one seed though, which is dope I don't know if that's a good thing Maybe it was better off that we were a four seed where we're the underdogs, but James Harden gets MVP. That's dope and Will we get coach of the year and Tony? We do James Harden on the first team will Chris Paul get on the third team? No. Oh, yeah, he will dope and Will Chris Paul get on be all defensive second team? He will does Brissett make an all rookie team? He does he averaged 6.7. Hey, that's pretty much what Gerald Green did last year, so it's cool with me. So round one, we were taking on the Phoenix Suns, who have added DeAndre Aiden. Don't know why you wanted um, Clint Capella then. So here are all the stats. There's Tobias Harris, Chris Paul, Eric Gordon, Capella, Crowder, Allen, Brissett, Napier. So Allen's definitely an upgrade over McGee. And then Brissett and Napier definitely upgrades over Green and Ariza. Maybe not in a defensive aspect, but still... I think overall, first in points per game, fifth in a lot of points per game. You know, we definitely have the best point differential. There we go. So, I'm I'm betting that we're gonna make it to the Western Conference Finals to take on the Warriors. Okay, we're down two one, two two, three two us. Thank you. Okay, I don't know why we were down two one. Now taking on Denver. Game one we win. Game two we win. Game three we lost. Game four we lost. Oh my god, you gotta be kidding me. You gotta be kidding me. Do not lose this, please. Alright, well, I guess 2K was just like, Matt, yep, I, you're the one seed this year. Nope, you're not making. You're doing better uh, last year than you are this year. So, hey, we won them a title. I'm not too pissed about it. There's not much we really could do with this team. I mean, we did end. We overhauled the whole bench besides Eric Gordon. We did some things to the starting lineup with the forward position. We got Tobias Harris. And we did get Jay Crowder. Added, obviously, Jared Allen, Napier, and Brissett. Definitely a better team this year, but of course, we don't win it. Like I said, I kind of predicted it, and the Warriors swept the Bucks. So, yeah, that's going to be for me. Thank you all for watching. I hope you guys did enjoy this video. Uh, it's probably on the shorter side of the videos that I've been uploading lately. I know they've been like 30 plus minutes. That Raptors Real Sick Rebuild was 43 minutes. There won't be a double upload today. There probably won't be another one until Friday or Saturday. So be on the lookout for those uh, coming then. And we'll probably do like an NBA Talk, Realistic Rebuilds, um, Realistic Expansion. I know I want to do tomorrow's rebuild will probably be everybody has to be above 80 overall challenge. I really like that challenge and haven't done that in a minute. So that'll probably come out tomorrow. So yeah, that was the Houston Rockets rebuild. If you guys have any other rebuilds, let me know in the comments below. I know I've read all your challenges. I see them, the top comments, I see them. I just haven't done a lot of challenges lately. So yeah, that's gonna be for me. Thank you all for watching. Now I love I love you guys. I appreciate it. We got the Rockets a title, uh, which unfortunately they couldn't do in real life. Honestly, my my dream for this finals is just to see a couple isolations between Nick Young and or a couple of nice plays from Nick Young and J.R. Smith and JaVale McGee. I just want it to be a comedy show, basically. So, yeah, that's going to be for me. Thank you for watching. I love you guys. See you guys next video. Peace.